perform a software reboot. So if you have a communication failure, you need to reboot the communication for the instrument. First we need to close down MassLink. By closing down the Tune page and close down the Main page, clicking OK to the message. MassLink usually takes a few seconds to close. In order to stop all the processes of the Acuity MS systems, there is a shortcut which is called Stop Acuity Processes. We find this in Windows in the PC in the program files of the 86 folder and if you go down to Waters Instruments to the bin, it's always there. It's good to make a direct shortcut on the desktop which is a lot easier. If you double click it you can see here a window popping up and closing all the instrument files which are active. To reboot the system type Telnet EPC, EPC standing for Embedded PC, we'll see an arrow with a blinking cursor. Type Reboot and press Enter. Now the system is starting to reboot. You do not see that here but we can see that or follow that with another command window which is called ping epc space minus t. That means it will continue to ping. Here we see request timeout which means there is no contact. It's starting to boot here and we need to wait until it's fully completed and usually it takes a full window of replies about one or two minutes. Usually there should be a different timing in milliseconds. Then it's almost finished booting. Final request time out. This is an internal software booting. When finished we can close the window. Most likely you can hear the instrument switching a few valves or turning off gas. If the lab noise is quiet enough you can hear a beep that indicates that the EPC has been rebooted. Again we can open Telnet EPC and if the blinking cursor with the arrow is there it should be communicating and we can start MassLink again. You can close these two windows. Start MassLink and at the bottom here you should see that the instrument is present and not scanning.